Hey! What's going on? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm the biggest Bengals fan, obviously. Which one do you like better? Any, mini, mini, mo? The white one. <laughs> like, do you, are y'all telling them you want to wear those every day? We want to. So the only thing, the only thing with those though, when we put them on, the helmets are so tight because it was new. Okay, so you are coming off back-to-back -back wins, and I'm very excited for you. Uh, how? What is the vibe around the team right now? Um, you know, it's great energy in the locker rooms. You know, everybody's high spirited. Um, we still got that game face, you know, grinded because we know we got, you know, things to do, more to do. So. Yeah. T, I was listening to really closely to your post game presser last week. You know, you were asked about it's a, if, if it's a reminder to the rest of the league how dangerous you are. And you said it was a reminder to ourselves. What did you mean by that? Obviously, we haven't had like, you know, too many big games to where, you know, all three of us as receivers, you know, go off like we did last week. But, you know, it's a reminder to ourselves that it's possible that we can do this, you know, each and every week. So how dangerous are you? Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're dangerous. Let's just, I'm going to just say that. <laughs> this wide receiver trio is the stuff dreams are made of. It is the best wide receiver trio in the league. You are each on pace to put up over 1,100 yards. It does not happen in the NFL. Uh, how does that balance work? Because I've, I'm, I follow the team very closely and I cheer you guys on and I've never really heard someone saying they're not getting the ball enough, enough targets, they need the love. So how does that balance work? We're just unselfish. Um, we know uh, sometimes a game is not going to be our game. Like one game might not be my game. It might be Chase's and TB's. And then one game, it might be my game and it's not going to be theirs. We know it's going to go like that. But So we just, just unselfish. We're going to cheer each other on no matter what. And, you know, if somebody's doing something wrong, we're going to correct each other and, you know, just go about it that way. You and Jamar uh, are very competitive as well. We saw some stuff on social media. Uh, about you two playing ping pong. What is your favorite thing to compete against with it? It's ping pong, we play ping pong every single day. Um, he loses a lot, but other than that, uh, it's, it's really that. Sometimes we have, we compete on, you know, who who has, who scores the first touchdown or, you know, who has the most yards, just things like that to give us more, you know, motivation to go crazy in the game, so. Yeah. Why are football, Everywhere, everybody's playing ping pong. Why are football players obsessed with ping pong right now? Honestly, I don't know. I always liked the game since I was younger, but I've been seeing that a lot lately too, that everybody's been playing it. And I thought we was the only team, but it's, it's really all the teams out here. But does it get crazy? Like, are people invested? Oh yeah, in it, get, it gets intense. What is especially, that like? Especially the two on two games. We play some two on two games. It gets very intense. What's the best two on two you've been a part of? Probably me and our coach, Troy Walters, the receiver coach versus, versus Tyler and uh, Chase. That's amazing. Does Joe get in on this action? No, I bet he doesn't. Joe's, he, he, he's a single player. He's he's good, though. He's really good, actually. Joe's awesome. good? What yeah. is Joe Burrow bad at? Good question. I don't know. Like, he's, like, he can dress. He's cool. He says the right stuff. He goes out there and balls off the, like, off the field. He's not he bad at anything? He can shoot basketball, he can play ping pong, he plays chess by himself. Um, like he plays chess by himself in front of people? Like he'll sit at his locker and just play chess, learning moves. With like a cigar, like LSU locker room style or just straight? No, like, just like, just sitting in his locker like this, just looking at his chess board. Just figuring, I'm like, Joe, what are you doing, bro? Do you ever say like, do you want to play me, bro? And he says, you know, he just wants to do it himself. No, I don't know how to play chess. I don't even ask him to play against him. <laughs> uh, you got, I mean, if, if we had checkers, I'd play him in checkers. How do you build chemistry with somebody who's a singles player like that? Just, you know, going out there and practice, connecting to practice every single day and, you know, just, and then off the field, you know, hanging out with him on Taco Tuesdays. Like me and him, me, him and Chase went to Taco Tuesday yesterday and, you know, just bonding, you know, and, and things like that. And who's, who's making that happen? Like, are you saying... Joe, let's go do this, or is it just... It's, it's, it's definitely Chase. Really? Yeah, it's definitely Chase. So Chase is the social one, kind of. He's the one who's yeah, like, he's, Joe, he's the one that makes the plans for the Taco Tuesday, for sure. <laughs> How many tacos do y'all go through, the three of you together? Yesterday, um, I had three. Chase had three. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we all had like three or four. 
You guys can do better. You guys need to add some offensive linemen to that thing. That's amazing. No, uh, what's your thoughts on this? Your quarterback, he's the AFC Offensive Player of the Week. We love to see it. We want it to continue, and you have a lot to do with that. Uh, what are your thoughts on Joe Burrow with the grills? I actually haven't seen him wear them. I, really I, want, I want him to wear it in the game. Have you told him not? No, not yet. Uh, I don't think that's, I'm, I, I'm no dentist, but I don't know yeah, if that would be good. It's probably idea. not a good idea. It's probably not a good idea. Second down and 19 behind the chains. That pass is complete for a first down. So you lose nine on the sack, and then you find T. Higgins over the middle and move the sticks. Who inspires you the most? I think I, ha I, think I know it's your mom, right? Yeah, definitely. What's your relationship, like what, what is the season like with her? Is she watching every game, coming to every game? Yeah, so every home game she comes to, if it's an away game, if it's close, she comes to. But any far one she 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 wants to come to, but I just say just you know, just just chill at home. I call you before the game and and we go from there. She always give me that motivation talk before a game, her and my sister, and I go out there and do my thing. Yeah. And he's caught! Yeah. T. Higgins breaks nice. the tackle. He's at the 10, the five, yeah. touchdown! Got him in Dango. You got the Browns on Monday, my friend. Mr. T. Higgins, you've, you know, you've done a lot of things. You got to the Super Bowl. You are on, on pace for all these yards. You're amazing, but you've never beaten the Browns in your NFL career. Three straight losses. How does that motivate you? Um, it's definitely something I've, I've thought about. Um, you know, I actually said it today to my, to Tyler, and um, that's you know we I've been really looking forward to beating these guys. Um, it's like you said, I lost to them three straight times. I haven't beaten them yet in my career. Um, it's going to be nice to get a win versus these guys in Cleveland. So um, looking forward to it. It's going to be a great matchup. But hey, we got to get the job done. Winning an, a, a single game in the NFL is really hard. But I was looking at your schedule this morning, and I was like, ooh, we. I think you guys are about to really start to go somewhere. Do you think, does this feel like a team that could make it all the way? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I feel like we got all the pieces to the puzzle. Um, we just got to put it together and, you know, come together as a team and, and, and make this run again. I'm wishing you so much luck. Get those 1,100 yards plus. Like, I would love to see 14 out of you. We've seen it's just, you're, you're, you're awesome. And I'm a huge fan. So thank you for taking the time. And I know you're tired after practice, so I appreciate it. Thank you.